Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools video tutorials and we're going to be demonstrating how to use the edit window counter. So, um, on your edit window, there is this area here right in the middle, which is black background and green um, letters and numbers. And this numbers here on the left, big numbers, this is your main counter. Okay, this is your main counter that you can find here in your edit window. So what is the, the counter? Well, the counter tells you where you are. Now, there's different scales that you can show, okay? And you can show them by clicking on this little arrow pointing down. And it'll give you the option of showing bars and beats so that you can see where you are as far as, as bars and beats. You can do minutes and seconds. You could do time code, uh, feet, frames, or samples. Right now we're set to bars and beats. So if I move my playback, or my, my, um, my playback position, set it here in bar two, well, guess what? It is showing bar two, beat one, tick zero 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 now if I switch this to let's say minutes and seconds well guess what that bar two beat one that's exactly two seconds and six 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 milliseconds okay now also whatever I have here selected it's what's showing here in my timeline as you can see if I switch this to bars and beats now this is showing bars and beats if I switch it to time code this is showing time code if I switch it to minutes and seconds it's showing minutes and seconds. So whatever you have here in your main counter, you'll be able to see on your timeline. Now you can also show a sub counter. The sub counter, now you have a main counter and a sub counter. So now you have two different counters at the same time. So you can have like bars and beats on one and maybe minutes and second on your sub counter. So if you, let's say you, you put your playback here on bar one beat two, well, that's exactly zero seconds and 666 milliseconds. You move to, let's say, bar two, beat three, bar two, beat three, zero ticks on your main counter, which is set to bars and beats, and then your sub counter, it's exactly four seconds. So that's your main counter and your sub counter. You can hide your sub counter if you don't want it. And then right next to it, you have your edit selection, start and in length. That's another very useful if you, for example, go ahead and click and drag here, and I select, let's say, from bar one, beat two, to bar two, beat two. I have that selected here. Well, guess what? That'll show on your edit selection here in your counter. Your start is set to bar one, beat two. You can see it here, bar one, beat two. And then the end is set to bar 2 b2 here you can see bar 2 b2 and then the length it's exactly one bar why because we're selecting exactly four beats and since we're in a 4 4 time signature that's exactly a length of one full bar you change your edit selection you can see how that in this case i click on the start and then i'm dragging and as soon as I'm dragging, that end changes uh, as well as the length, okay? You can alternatively uh, select something and then change the start. For example, you can click and drag here to change the start or click and drag here to change the end. And that'll make, obviously, the length grow. But you can also switch or change the length. You can just click and type, let's say, length 3. Or you can just click and drag down one, two, three, four, and you'll be changing that length. So that's the counter from your edit window in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.